I have just really enjoyed getting to come together with other moms and uh, have a little break during the week. And um, it's really meant a lot to me because these women have just supported me um, through some really difficult times, um, through um, just the sickness and death of my son. And um, I've really enjoyed hearing the speakers. They're really relevant to the things that um, a young mom and married woman are going through and uh, just the support and love that I can feel from the other MOPS ladies. And I came to MOPS as my first um, church experience. I've never had a church family before, so this was my first step into that. And it's um, been amazing to meet women with the same age kids and um, just have something for what to look forward to in your week and um, just to get words of encouragement um, from moms who are going through the same thing and moms who have been there um, done that type thing so I love it and I would never give up on going. <laughs> moms really came into my life um, shortly after the biggest I would say struggle of my adult life. I lost my mom um, in 2012 and I was really struggling just as a new mom myself. My child was not quite one when my mom passed and so um, going through motherhood without sort of a mother figure in my life has been very difficult but um, Mops really stepped in and filled that role for me. The mentor moms have all been amazing. Um, they stepped in and been like surrogate moms to me when I needed. They're the ones that I call when um, I don't know what's going on with my kids, and they're the ones that hold me up when um, I'm going through difficult times. So they were there, um, it really brought me out of depression. And something I didn't expect from Mops was that it gave me a ministry uh, while my kids are young. It's just been such a blessing to have a group of women, of other moms, who uh, share the challenges and the joys of motherhood with you. and. Um, we kind of support each other in the process. It's so refreshing just to know that you're not alone. Uh, I can't express what a blessing it has been in the lives of my children and for me just to be in a place with other moms that are in the same uh, place in life and it really feels like, um, you know, we it makes our craziness a little less crazy. We moved here because of my husband losing his job in Ardmore. I was a very anxious about coming to this town and not knowing a soul. I left all of my family and friends behind. I never thought that a group of women that I'd never met in my life would mean so much to me and help me and encourage me in my faith and walk with, with God. I have gained so much confidence in myself and in my family from being here. I can't even express how much these women have meant to me with the loss of my granny and another loss of a job. It's been nothing but a blessing in my life. And I thank God every day for pushing me into this uncomfortable situation and meeting these beautiful women. Um, I don't know what I would have done without them. It's been really encouraging to have other people who are walking a very similar thing and it's not just with my children's stages, it's being a wife um, as well and finding encouragement from mentor moms or from other women. And I would highly recommend MOPS for any, any mom of preschoolers. When, when I think of MOPS, the very first thing that I think of is um, friendship and thankfulness. I am so thankful for my friends. Um, and secondly, I think of coffee and laughter. We all accept each other as we are, no matter if we're in a good season of life or a difficult season. Also, we have the best leaders and mentor moms. Leaders also help bring out leadership skills that um, I didn't realize that I had, and they helped me to grow in those. So we just wanted to say, uh, my daughter and I just wanted to say thank you Covenant for providing this opportunity to um, refresh and encourage moms as we encourage each other um, to become more like Jesus um, because that's really what it's all about. And um, to reflect Jesus to our children and to raise this generation for the Lord. So thank you.